Wales, The Gentle Giants, by Joyce Milton, illustrated by Alton Langford. Hundreds of years ago, people believed in sea monsters. All kinds of sea monsters. One story was told about a man named Brendan. Brendan and his friends went to sea in a small boat. They sailed and sailed. Soon, they were lost. At last, they saw an island. We are saved! cried Brendan. Let's land right away. We will give thanks to God. Brendan and his friends started to pray. Suddenly, the island began to move. It was alive! Was it a sea monster? No! The men were standing on the back of a whale. They were so scared, they jumped back into their boat. And off they went as fast as they could. Is this a true story? Probably not, but some whales are as big as small islands. The blue whale is the biggest of all whales. The blue whale is also the biggest animal in the world. A baby blue whale is even bigger than an elephant. There are about 75 different kinds of whales. The sperm whale has a huge head. The male narwhal has one long twisted tooth. Sometimes this tooth grows to be 10 feet long. The pygmy sperm whale is one of the smallest whales. It is about the size of a canoe. That is still pretty big. People used to think that whales were a kind of fish. But a whale is not a fish. It cannot stay underwater all the time. A whale breathes through a hole in its head. This is called a blowhole. When a whale dives, it holds its breath. When it comes up, it breathes out. A big spout of spray comes out of its blowhole. Up it goes, high in the air. A whale is a mammal. Just like a dog. Just like a cat. Just like you. A baby mammal grows inside its mother's body. This baby gray whale has just been born. Its mother and another whale quickly push the baby to the top of the water. They are helping the little whale take its first breath of air. The baby whale is called a calf. It drinks its mother's milk just as a human baby does. It weighs about 2,000 pounds. But to its mother, it is still her little baby. Usually, whales are gentle. But not always. The mother gray whale will fight anything that tries to hurt her calf. The whale calf cannot swim very fast. A big hungry shark is watching. It is waiting for a chance to attack. But the mother whale is keeping watch too. When she sees the shark, she rushes straight at it. Other whales come to help. They swim between the shark and the baby. They are too big for the shark to attack. The shark is not very smart. Soon, it is all mixed up. It gives up and swims away. The calf is safe. All winter long, the baby gray whale swims and plays in the warm waters off the coast of Mexico. But when spring comes, the gray whales are on the move. They will swim all the way to cold arctic waters. Even the baby whale will make the long trip. They swim day and night. But sometimes, even a whale gets tired. When the whales are sleepy, they lie on top of the water and take naps. After their long trip, 
The gray whales are very hungry. The cold water is filled with their favorite food. Tiny sea animals. So small you would not think they could feel a whale. But they do. The whales open their mouths wide. Slurp. They take in lots of water. And lots of tiny sea animals too. Like many whales, the gray whale has no teeth. Instead, it has baleen. The baleen grows in long strips. It works like a big strainer. When a whale spits out a mouthful of water, lots of the tiny sea animals stay caught in its baleen. They will be the whale's dinner. People did not always know that whales make sounds. Sailors and submarines used to hear strange things. Clickety click, crack. The noises sounded like music from outer space. The sailors were surprised to learn that all those sounds were made by whales. Humpback whales make the strangest sounds of all. They seem to be singing. Humpbacks are funny looking. Their heads are covered with bumps. But the songs they sing are beautiful. Scientists have even recorded the songs of the humpbacks. What do the songs mean? So far, scientists are not sure. The most beautiful whale is the black and white orca. The orca does not have baleen. It has real teeth. Big ones! The orca hunts big fish. It hunts seals too. It even hunts other whales. Orcas are also called killer whales. Sailors used to be afraid of them. Today, we know that orcas can become very tame. Orcas are the stars of many aquarium shows. They like to be petted. They love to do tricks. Orcas are very smart. Sometimes, they even make up tricks and teach them to their trainers. Orcas do not hunt people, but for many years, people hunted whales. Why? Mostly, they wanted the whale's blubber. Blubber is a kind of fake fat. It can be made into oil. Years ago, whale oil was burned in lamps. That's how people lit their houses. Ships spent many months at sea looking for whales. The hunters searched for whales in the cold seas of the far north. Sometimes, the ships got stuck in the ice. Some never returned. Hunting whales was dangerous work. When they found a whale, the hunters chased it in small boats. They threw long spears called harpoons into the whale's back. The whale fought hard to get away. A frightened whale could overturn a boat. So many whales were killed that few were left. People started to worry about saving the whales. Laws were passed to protect whales. Today, most people who follow whales only want to watch them. Scientists watch whales to learn about their lives in the sea. Whale watching is also fun. Whales seem to like watching people too. They will swim and play around the boat for a long time. If you go whale watching, you might even see a whale jump high in the air. Why do whales jump? No one knows. Maybe they jump just because it feels so good to be a whale. The end. Hi everybody! If you enjoyed this video, subscribe here for more. Bye!